welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another haul video. Um, this one feels kind of like an unboxing or unbagging to me because these were all purchased over the past two to three weeks. Um, usually I don't like sitting on my inventory for more than a couple of days because of fast fashion and trends coming and dying so quickly but the holidays really dragged me behind so i kind of just had like a buildup of sourced clothing happening so this haul is over the past few weeks and they are from these clothes are from multiple thrift thrift shops um a lot of them i don't remember getting i don't really remember what's in this big pile I also went thrifting a couple times with my fiance and I just trusted him to throw good quality brands in the cart and I was going through them really quickly because um, we had the kids with us. So yeah, I'm just going to dive in and start with this one. This is a, I don't remember picking this up. See this is like, I don't even know what brand this is. Okay dress forum I'm I must have I must have googled it before before I threw it in the cart so I, this is um, a 1980s button-up metallic polka dot blouse with some killer shoulder pads I will probably remove the shoulder pads which is a really easy snip snip um, I will probably list this one around $30 because it's very unique and one thing with vintage fabric is when fabric starts to age sometimes there is a smell that is very hard to get out um, even with washing and steaming but this gave it a good smell it smells fantastic so that's always a plus with vintage um, I found this older label Prana which is a yoga focused brand just a really cute lightweight top Prana does well for me, so I always pick up Prana if it's, uh, unless it's like a basic top or of course in bad condition. This I bought for myself, it's Airy. It's just a cute sweater. So Airy is one of my favorite brands, especially for leggings. Um, I, I choose Airy even over like really high end stuff personally. It just fits me better. This is a Postmark top. Um, yeah, these, I have this light like glaring right at me, so these labels are kind of getting washed out. But, yep, it just looks like a little postcard. Um, it has this really cute pleated follow-up bottom layer. I will probably list that one at about $20 because it feels brand new, honestly. This one is my first time finding this brand. It's a Vanessa Virginia, which I believe is an anthropology brand. Just a really cute lightweight boho top. Um, I still have to look up comps on that because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to list it for. I found a sanctuary which does really 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 well for me lately. Um, this is a cold shoulder top with this cute little ribbon detail. It's in great condition. I will probably list that at around $25 to $30 just to start see if I get any offers. I also found an Athleta newer label skirt I will probably list 420 I also found a really nice pair of Columbia hiking pant hiking pants I think these are like a boot cut with activewear I always check the press-on label I call these press-on labels um, and logos lettering to make sure they're not cracked at all which is a telltale sign of being overused, not overused, just being used. I guess I shouldn't say overused because everybody should overuse their clothing. Um, I will probably list that pair of pants for around $20 and see how they do. Oh, I found this really cute Madewell cardigan, um, really heavy knit. So I also found some Madewell tops, but they were just plain tops, so I left them behind. This has like a cute little cuff. I will probably list this for $25 to start and see what it does there at that price point. 
found some soft surroundings, which I, I've heard does really well on eBay. So I always pick up soft surroundings because I personally like it a lot. It's a really nice brand that has a good following. I haven't sold it on eBay, but I also, I don't cross list all of my stuff to eBay. So I'm not sure how well soft surroundings does on eBay. I can only go off of what other people have told me. I also found these seven for all mankind jeans. Unfortunately, the inside label has been worn off a bit, but I was super diligent in looking for any extra signs of wear because this is usually a telltale sign that there's going to be wear in other places, but I could not find any. So yeah, I'm not sure on the style, but I will look into these and figure out a price point from there. Wish they were dojo. <laughs> I really do. That would be great. But they are not. I also found this cotton seed brand, which is my first time even hearing of this brand. Like washed out tie-dye top. And this was what really sold me. It has like this boho meets cowgirl cold shoulder, cold arm side. I don't know how to explain that. But that's super unique. That's probably something I will try to model in my pictures I also found this oh, this is my favorite find this is vintage um, look at this print so there's no shoulder padding so it might be like pre pre 80s maybe 60s I don't know um, one thing about me is before I started reselling clothing I resold vintage so I'm usually pretty good at looking at the style of something and guessing what decade it's from, but this one really has me baffled because this print is really like, unlike anything else I've seen, I'm so excited about that. This is another soft surroundings. This is a really nice, this is so heavy. I wish I could show you guys how heavy this is through the lens. Um, I'm gonna have to take a sweater shaver to it. Not that it's not in good condition, because it is in good condition, but see, little things like that, this little bit of piling here, um, gonna make it look nice and new. This is a philosophy top, it's 100% tinsel. This is like a chambray faux denim top. It's really cute, not too simple. I'll probably list that one at about $20, maybe $25 to start. This is a LOL, LOL, I like saying that. Um, this is a Canadian based activewear brand. So I'm from Michigan, so I find lots of this. Um, I always check with white garments. I check at the sleeve, the inside of the sleeve, behind the neckline. Um, these are all areas where the garment rubs up against the skin the most. So those are like, where I look first for discoloration, and this has none. This is in really good condition. This is something my fiance threw in for me. It's a men's O'Neill military style jacket. So men's like O'Neill, Burton, stuff like that does really good for me on eBay. So I will probably list this around $30. also found these Donald Pliner clogs with a really pronounced bottom sole. I really like these. So these I think I paid up for. Yeah, I paid $8 for these, but I'm a sucker for Donald J. Pliner. I also found these Teva. Uh, paid $4 for them. I think they're water shoes, but I'm not sure. I hope they're not water shoes because it'd be way cooler if they were like active hiking shoes of some sort. Um, but I also found these cute blowfish sandals. I wish these were in my size. These are in really good condition. I'll probably list those for about 20. I found this vintage Sherpa. So this plaid Sherpa jacket. Um, I think this will do really, really well because I sold something similar to this that was children's size and it was not plaid. It was just a Sherpa jacket vintage. And I sold it for like $20. And I mean, I'm talking like size 2T, like for toddlers. And it sold for 20 on Etsy. So I think that one will do really well on, um, I'm thinking Mercari. I'll put it on Poshmark as well, but I think that one's gonna go on Mercari. I also found this Maeve. 
which I believe is an anthropology brand. It's a long pattern tunic in really good condition. It has these huge like oversized slouchy sleeves, which I love. I don't find that brand a lot around me. So I was excited to see the label. Found a brand new with tags, Airy and Allie. Airy and Allie, which I just found out is an anthropology brand because that's what the tag says. So usually I leave behind really simple styles, but this is like a crop sweater shirt and it's new with tags. So it just had to come home with me. This is my last one to show you guys. I feel like that went by quickly. It's a Lululemon. Oh, I never, ever, ever find Lululemon around me. I think I've only ever found one Lululemon piece. The Lulu wave hasn't really hit West Michigan yet. Where is the, you can tell I'm not used to finding Lulu because I don't even know where to look for the damn logo. But um, I did see the logo while I was flipping through. So I've only ever found one Lululemon item and it was the exact same thing but it was pink and it sold really quickly <laughs> guys i can't find the logo you guys are gonna think i'm like some imbecile who's never resold anything in her life houston we have a label but it's not the one i need so whatever there you can look at the zipper there's a lululemon thing on the zipper so instead of spending the last 10 minutes of the video trying to find this lululemon label i'm gonna let you guys go um, I think this haul was, huh, here are my receipts that have been buried away for weeks. So I spent $82 at one Goodwill, $32 at the other. Probably spent more than that. Um, I do also think a couple of these items were thrown in from just like random stops. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this haul and I will see you next time. As always, if you, uh, don't follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is honey.rags and I will put that link in the bio. My Poshmark closet name is Honey Rags and if you want to find me on any other site, there is a link tree on my Instagram with all of my main selling platforms. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and happy new years.